Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to session 77, the $1,000 a day challenge. How to average $1,000 a day net profit that is after commissions trading two or three hours a day. If 1,000 is not enough, you simply increase your position size. Now what I teach you here in these sessions, you can apply to futures, forex or stocks. Now we do know there's a risk in trading of course you're watching the recording so please feel free to pause the recording if you wish now this is where I'm going to really um, uh, drill down and talk to you directly as adults and you've probably heard me in my last few videos being quite blunt with traders about what it really takes to succeed as a day trader and yes I, I run a coaching room a, a trading room I run a live room I run a live coaching room yeah and yes it'd be great to have you as members and and join my course that would be great however I've got to be direct with you traders that is rarely does a trader get rich quickly in this business the reality is it's hard to get rich fast but the great news is it's easy to get rich slow trading the financial markets and I'm going to be showing you how to do that now of course in these sessions I can only give you a snippet just a, a tiny bit of what it takes but what I'm going to show you is that anyone can do this that's truly committed now a couple of the absolute essentials number one you've heard me probably talk about the Goldilocks rule if you're a subscriber a subscriber to my channel uh, the Goldilocks rule is not too hard not too easy just right in other words we all have uh, what's the word for it we all learn at a different rate and if you approach day trading and you attempt to learn too many setups or trade too many time frames you're probably going to fail on the other hand you may get bored with trading it's about finding well mind you I think I'd be fairly hard to get bored if you're successful but it's about finding really what really suits your personality so I'm going to be talking more about this uh, in this session now, I try to keep these sessions to 30 minutes they're raw real and unedited uh, they usually blow out a little bit but please stay all the way through because I promise you I'm going to give you some takeaways that if you're already an experienced trader you can apply immediately now a very quick uh, advertisement uh, if you haven't already downloaded my uh, ebook the truth about day trading the descriptions in the link below if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do so you can be kept up to date and also uh, if you're not already a member I naturally have a lot of members I've got over 10,000 members now uh, so a lot of members are watching this but if you're not a member for $197 you can get my entire program plus it includes all of my cheat sheets there's now over 30 powerpoints there's dozens and dozens of videos so you don't have to watch them all and the reason being you're going to focus on just a couple of setups which I'll show you in a moment because I'm going to be showing you some of my live trading results and what you'll see is I'll trade four or five different setups at once you'll see that uh, in a moment but for $197 you get the works and I also have a bonus going at the moment where for one month you can attend my live coaching sessions so uh, two two nights a month on Tuesday oh, sorry two nights a month <laughs> two evenings a week Tuesdays and Wednesdays 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. I run live classes where you can log in you can type in questions they are recorded if you can't attend where I'm explaining um, and really covering everything from the psychology of trading money management right through to uh, how my setups work and how to day trade so end of ad for now let's move on and let's get down to this first of all when it comes to trading one of the areas that I see and one of the reasons why so many traders fail is they set up a lofty goal a, a goal that is not realistic now I'm one of the most optimistic people you will meet in your life however we still have to be realistic with our approach we also have to uh, develop uh, not only confidence with our trading but also competence 
one of the ways we do that um, is by achieving goals step by step achieving goals and then setting a higher goal and so forth you've probably heard of the term uh, evidence defeats disbelief when it comes to the brain and the way we learn and the way we create a belief is through evidence now one of the ways we do that is rather than targeting five hundred or a thousand dollars per contract per day is that possible yes for some traders uh, is it the uh, the average trader going to achieve that absolutely not but start with only one hundred dollars a day you see the game changer for most of a population would be thousand dollars a day that's only one hundred dollars a day per contract wait till we get to the live charts wait till we get to the charts and I'll show you how to do this now as you build confidence of course you can start going for your 200 uh, and if you stay on your 10 contracts that's 10,000 a week uh, two thousand dollars a day but the important thing is is to start with realistic goals it's so important now this is one of my uh, actually a fairly new member in one of my coaching rooms uh, this is just from last week he said I've hit my $100 a day for 16 days just taking it slowly and build uh, just taking it slowly and build up slowly loving it what he also uh, said in another this is directly out of the chat uh, he also said um, uh, it's very very hard to not get greedy now what I say to traders you start at a level and you build you might then go for 120 150 you see what you then do when you hit the target you stop live trading you go on the simulate but you celebrate the win that's how you do it it's about really one step at a time unfortunately there's so much BS out there on the internet on YouTube risk 5% etc of your account size it's all the wrong information you see if you don't learn how to trade correctly the first time um, it just causes so much damage anyway I'm getting getting away from myself here all right couple of things you'll see when we get to the charts in a few minutes is that uh, I have a number of indicators now some traders are what we call pure price action uh, traders that is they might just have their EMAs or their simple moving averages on the chart that's fine and if you're a pure price action trader you can still trade my setups as you'll see because all of my setups are pattern based things that we can see visually uh, anyone can learn a pattern now what indicators do is they give us that heads up and additional information I love this one <laughs> the early bird gets a wound but the second mouse gets a cheese in other words by having some of their indicators or by using some of the ind indicators which you'll see in a moment it just makes trading a whole lot easier now also on the charts you'll see I'm using uh, Renko charts now I also love tick charts and I particularly like range charts on Forex now I now specialize in the futures markets and we won't drill down in this session why that is but it doesn't matter which type of chart you use the setups also work so in this session I executed eight trades for six wins two losses in nine minutes now when I did a trade recap with my members in the live trading room and in the coaching sessions I also covered and said to them actually I the time was the time frame was far too fast now I've been doing this now for over 28 years what I'm about to cover with you uh, and show you on the screen in a moment there's only half of the trades I'd recommend that a new trader take as you'll see and you'll see why following the trend but if you're a scalper as you can see there um, eight trades are uh, six wins two losses uh, all within eight minutes scalping is very achievable I'm sorry I keep pausing the video I haven't bit of a coughing fit here traders so <laughs> anyway my target is a thousand dollars a day I'm in out and I'm finished that suits me I'm in my 60s this sort of style of trading suits me so if we look at the uh, chart here and we'll actually go to the, the live chart in a moment uh, and you'll see here I uh, had a with trend trade that was a with trend a with trend this is a reversal and I actually had four um, full divergence reversal trades two of them were losses 
now this was the open of the Frankfurt market which is 2 a.m. Central Standard Time I love trading the after hours market that is from 5 p.m. Central or 6 p.m. Eastern it's what we call the Globex session and the reason being generally unless you're trading around a market open uh, it's a lot slower and it's a lot in my opinion yeah it's just a lot slower particularly for newer traders it's fantastic I call the opening or particularly the opening of a New York session the killing field we've got to be very cautious around that time but also you've got to be cautious around this sort of trading unless you're an experienced trader because this was too fast really and I actually committed myself and got in to fight off a few trades and it was still really pumping I said to my members really even I should have sat on my hands uh, uh, during most of these trades now what I wanted to show you though is that scalping you can if this is your style and particularly for the young guns that are perhaps used to video games uh, you can see how quickly um, uh, the dollars can really amount or really how quickly you can build your account but likewise the losses as well so we're gonna have a quick look at this on the live chart and you'll see that if I had been trading with the trend just before this trade there's a great trend trade and just after this one stick with trading with the trend initially but I'll explain these setups when we get to my chart but before we get there I've got to very very quickly talk about money management uh, and how you really build from having a small account now even if you've got 10 20 fifty thousand um, dollars aim small miss small start with a small account make all the mistakes you're going to make and you build from there but before you even go live start on the simulator now first of all in setting goals we've got to have a plan we've got an action uh, and this will lead to success now unfortunately most um, are losing traders won't do what winning traders will do and that's the fact a lot of traders think okay you can read a book and you can jump in they don't have an action plan they don't understand money management now I don't want this to turn into a big long lecture but the reality is traders you've got to know what you're doing but it's also great <laughs> it's not rocket science but first of all let me just show you this here what I'm about to show you on a couple of slides here you can apply to so many different markets including Forex all right you've got um, and if you're not familiar with these you've got uh, the 30-year rate you've got the YM the Dow you've got agriculture you've got metals uh, gold uh, we've got here um, CL the Texas T oil you've got the European markets and here we've got whoops on this one did I repeat one of these maybe I did I might have put one on here um, a couple of times so the bottom line is you can be trading the YM uh, the, the ES uh, the Dow and a lot of these markets now have what we call micro contracts that you can trade so see over here it says intraday margin uh, you've got their um, micro oils $100 margin so you can be trading some of these markets uh, with only a few hundred dollars now this is a great way to start now in this particular case I'm going to quickly show you what it really means by starting off with an account of only $400 you might have $4,000 which I'm going to show you however why not for the first couple of months after you're consistently profitable on the simulator start off with a micro you see time's gonna pass anyway traders and you may as well do it right now here I've um, uh, done this slide here on the basis that you start on a uh, or this target here you're about to see with a $400 account going for only $20 a day and once you increase your market your sorry your margin or your account which I'll show you in a moment up to 4,000 then you start trading the big contract so here's what it means to you so let's just say here you start off with $400 in your account and you net only $20 a day and I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes potentially in 12 weeks your account is now 4620 now I've got to say potentially because legally I can't say this is guaranteed of course it's not the unfortunate thing is that so many traders uh, won't follow the rules it's a bit reminds me of Richard Dennis 
he was uh, he used to train traders called the turtles uh, his trading concepts and a journalist once asked him aren't you worried about teaching all these traders how you trade and by the way he turned I think it was uh, four hundred dollars seriously four hundred his father lent him two thousand dollars but he um, if I remember correctly he purchased a seat on the exchange or he did something and he only had a few hundred dollars left but he turned that into 200 million dollars and as he said to the journalist look I could publish the rules to my trading methodology on the front page of a newspaper and very few people would follow the rules now here that's the the challenge of course with me training traders you've got to follow the rules now what's amazing though if you've got a big enough why that also becomes easier but back on this you average $20 a day and every time you double your money that is you go from 400 in your account up to 800 you can now start trading two contracts you get another 400 you start trading three you're using the markets money this is no ridiculous compound table that I see on <laughs> in some books and some YouTube videos this is when you double your money you're still going for the same amount per contract now in 12 weeks you've now got the money to roll over and start trading a big contract this is where now you trade the four tick Renko where you require a four thousand dollar account now just on the time frame the four tick works brilliantly during the after hours market forget it during the New York session you're gonna to have to be trading uh, probably up to a 16 tick a 12 tick so this is a time frame that suits this uh, time of day that is really um, any time from 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time up to about 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time you can usually trade the four tick but what it means is when I roll my 4,000 well you're not really rolling it over it's sitting in the same account we're now going for uh, uh, $200 a day per contract and we can see by week 12 on $200 a day we're now up to 46,000 in our account and basically $10,000 a week now I'll be showing you in a moment how we do that but by starting on this level you're building both confidence and competence so starting with $400 200 a day sorry $20 a day in 12 weeks our account is now 46 we now start trading the big contract further 12 weeks we're now up to if your goal is that you you might have a smaller goal fantastic or a larger goal now the bottom line is here you've hit that target within 24 weeks where will you be financially in six months time now I do want to put one caveat here because I want to be direct with you and it's this you might take one to three months on the simulator before you're ready to go live on a micro that is you're not going to go live not on my watch you're not going to you can but strongly um, you've got to follow the rules this isn't rocket science there's some simple rules you've got to follow otherwise the trading gods are not going to be kind to you you master the setups on the simulator then you go live now the big thing here is how do we get and we're going to see this on the charts in a moment how do we get to the stage where we're netting uh, two hundred dollars a day well I'm going to show you what I mean by six step scalps and seven step scalps you only need to be netting between three and four trades a day on average and for members watching this you know the drill great trending two B's either 34 55 89 or 200 B's now if you're a scalper you might scalp for less now in the next video what are we uh, this is video 77 in 78 which I'm going to record straight after this uh, you'll see there I'm trading the six tick a higher time frame and I hit my goals within uh, two trades but on average you're going to execute between three and four trades a day to hit the cut to hit our targets now to do this uh, and before we go to the charts a couple of really important factors here's how we make money there's some basic fundamentals we need to learn and understand and they're simple there's, uh, we have what we call pivot levels which are based on the open high low and close levels depending on which pivots you're using from yesterday's price action 
the prior days open high low and close as a straight bounce point and you'll probably see that on the charts in a moment if you don't understand these right now don't worry about it once you see it and you have um, it fully explained you'll go aha uh -huh, is that all it is but then we've also got our major EMAs particularly being the 89 and 200 EMAs very simple concept then we've got our intraday swing highs and lows that's actually what's happening within the day and the current days high and low now the reason these are so important traders these are what we call price magnets they're also what we call predictive indicators and the reason they're predictive traders is that so many traders trade these levels and so professionals as myself we sell and buy into these levels and you want to jump on the coattails and buy and sell into these levels your best reversal trades as you'll see will come off these levels and now with virtually every trading platform uh, you've got indicators that plot these in advance for you as you'll see in a moment and so we know exactly where these levels are so there's some basics some fundamentals you need to learn uh, and these are a couple of them now let's now go to the chart now what I'm going to do here is just explain this and I'm going to go uh, actually I'll pause the video and then go to where uh, to actually a live chart so obviously this this one here this is um, already trades over and done with but it will go to the live charts so you can see what's happening and who knows we might even spot a couple of trades I'm 21 minutes in I'll try to be quick with this now first of all uh, trading with the trend here was one that I uh, wasn't on uh, then I had another 2 that was a 3b this is a 2b that was a 3b now this is very fast okay that was within a minute three minutes later you had another one you had another one here uh, I was in very late with that um, uh, then I had a nice reversal and then you would have had a really nice trend trade just there now the point I'm trying to point out here the easiest trades to learn uh, or the easiest way to make money is trading with the trends I'll explain these other trades in a moment because it's still important when you gain experience but that would have been a winner 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 and that was a winner all of those were with trend trades now the trades I actually took I jumped in here and I had a bad entry um, traders I get distracted because I'm coaching and training answering emails at the same time all right so you've really got to be focused when you trade but anyway the market takes off and the bad entry the bad entry is my fault so many traders said oh I got a bad entry is the market's fault well no it's not the market's fault it's your fault you weren't focused or you're late in okay price in rallied up okay really nice trade thank you very much I then had a, um, a really nice divergence trade and it then bounced and I got stopped out of that one immediately and down I came again now what I want to say about divergence trades and and for members watching these were t12s by the way so we were actually bouncing off higher time frame EMAs up here so uh, they were great trades but I got stopped the, the market was was really choppy here and this one can't remember I think I got stopped by one or two ticks whatever it was the fact is though loss winner loss winner okay that happens and this one here was a t10 now just to and we had a t10 just here now I will briefly explain this before we switch over and that is you'll see here that I've got a short-term stick these are stochastics I've got a long-term stochastic and a short-term stochastic you can and I've got two core setups that we trade in the direction of the long-term stochastic anyone can learn how to trade these they're rules based they're straightforward and they're visual the late great Mark Douglas as he says in his book the disciplined trader if you want to master the art of day trading learn a pattern based trade so that's what we use there so there were trades there there was another t10 just there that was a t10 uh, that was a t10 by the way there as well for members watching so the t10 and the t2 are very powerful 
trend following and trend reversal setups now remember I I showed you on this slide here and let me just pull this back up again uh, where are the major EMAs the 89 and the 200 now not only just on your entry chart we want to take notice of what they're doing on the anchor chart one as well and two sorry notice here 89b 200b 200b the EMAs are oh, 200b these are extremely powerful and anyone can learn them okay they're pattern based setups now if this time frame which it was was too fast you just increase the time frame that you're trading that will slow the chart down now let me just pull this over here let me just show you something here uh, actually no I'm not going to do this because it'll freeze the chart I don't have the amount of data uh, over there I really need to uh, show you what I was going to show you so what we're going to do now I'm going to pause the video and we're going to go to the current charts where price action is right now let's have a look at some live charts so I'll just pause this okay traders so I've got the charts up the live charts up so this is the four tick once again by the way I'm recording this at 1956 p.m. on a Sunday evening so that the Globex markets open uh, Sunday afternoon 5 p.m. central and they run right through till till uh, Friday evening the markets do close for an hour uh, each day that is uh, that is the futures markets do while they reboot the computers so they close at uh, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time and they then reopen uh, an hour later at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time so we'll catch up with current price action but I just want to point out a couple of things for the experienced traders here as well now this is our standard chart here standard Renko four tick and what what this means is that each step see these Renko bricks I just call them candles but each step is worth two ticks or ten dollars so when you're trading this market it's five dollars a tick that is uh, and there's two ticks to a, a and you pick this up if you're new to trading but what it basically means is is two ticks that's ten dollars or on the micro it's uh, one dollar per step is where you start remember a few minutes ago I said to you that we want to follow the long-term stochastic here um, it's it's well giving you a very simplistic overview here but look at it uh, traveling down here if I just make this a little bit larger so we can see it's traveling down we get a hook okay thank you very much we've got another hook thank you very much um, and I'll talk about that in a moment got a number of hooks and uh, now we've got a lot of what we call divergence now I don't want to get bogged down on this but for the because I really want to try to stick to talking about trend trading but this is important that is if you look down the bottom here this is called um, a MACD BB now uh, sorry it's not the MACD BB it's a MACD platinum to so many there's a number of different type of MACD indicators but this is what I call a zero lag the experienced traders here what can you see here we've uh, got a lower low just there and a higher low thank you very much now the arrows by the way they plot automatically they're called t20s okay something that happens on the chart great trend directional indicator and in trade uh, trending markets and where you've got ways very very tradable now over here just before and I'm not sure what happens here but notice this here price rallied up just there and note just there that price action dropped away that's divergence again divergence is a reversal strategy traders it's where well I shouldn't say it's not a strategy itself you can do divergence trading but it's where the market is changing direction you actually had a little bit right there uh, and you had some great divergence there and we've got some great divergence there it even turned into a t10 uh, sorry uh, sorry it turned into a double top my apologies so as we can see here the long-term stochastic is coming down 
Oh, and there is a t10 there as well so for members that are watching that you can see the t10 so what we've got if you're new to my channel there's codes we give each just makes it a lot easier than, than saying there's a kitchen trade okay now as it's coming down one thing we always do okay now look at this here we've got a potential bounce right here now hmm, what are we about to bounce off there traders what is that it's a 200 EMA okay so now I'd be in this trade now with any trade uh, we say okay where do we put our stop I like to have my stop loss one tick below now I do look over here and I can see my uh, the high of day or this session is up here so that makes a great potential target now I do need to refer to this PowerPoint again because this is really relevant remember up here I mentioned where is that slide here let me find that slide how many trades where is it here it is here so we want to be netting so let's assume we want to go for our two hundred dollars a day in this quick session we need between six steps and seven steps between three and four trades after any losses now what do I mean by the steps again these are called steps so if we're taking this trade here ideally I'd like to be getting let's just say we get in now shall we by the way that there this is a price line indicator this could be miles away from this setup so just ignore that for now so let's just say here we go for our six or seven steps one oops one was that one anyway one two three four five six seven now we didn't quite hit seven okay we easily got out six ticks and we hit the high now I won't get into this but usually um, most of you are aware I what I call front run prior highs and lows but there's um, one trade either um, six steps or um, one and or seven depends where you got in what's next okay so let's look for a retracement a pullback now one thing I do want to say here is we're not looking at is what's the anchor chart one telling me now this can get or really take a wee bit of time to get used to that is to look at two charts but you're not staring at the two charts all the time you're glancing over now in this particular case I've got um, uh, the two charts side by side okay so it makes it very very easy now one is a four tick the other is a seven tick and one is what we call uh, the entry chart and one is what we call the uh, the anchor chart one which is this one here now what we've got to be very careful about here is this let me stop this from moving again I do want to briefly so we'll go another 10 minutes because this is really important here note here how I've got a flat 200 EMA this is not good by the way I've taken one trade at a flat EMA but what I can see is my MACD is dropping away just there and by the way if you're thinking it's you know 200 EMA it's all rubbish and whatever 200 bounce 200 bounce little bounce 200 bounce traders simplicity that is successful trading is rooted in simplicity it truly is any fool can make something look complicated now if you look at that there that's a double top with divergence we actually call these bet the farm trades okay bit of tongue-in-cheek we still follow our rules we never ever ever risk more than two percent in a trade um, but bet the farms are fantastic now what I'm saying here is with this trade is we want to be very careful I'm not going to take any more trades in this zone why for 200 EMA is flat all right I took this one but now it's rallied up my MACD is dropping away all right I'm just gonna sit the next trade that I get out okay and, and you actually technically had one there but we're very flat I want you to remember that flat moving averages are evil okay they they really are so as we're pulling back okay you've got another entry and this is what I should do so you can see what it's looking like on my anchor chart I'm, I'm just going to sit this out at this stage because 
my indicators are dropping on my higher time frame so actually in a way I wish I wasn't showing you this one this is just a little more difficult than some of our normal trading but in a way this is probably good too now what have I got just here I've got a t10 just set up here now I've got a t10 just here which is a t10 short now a t10 is a reversal strategy let me point this out I've got a t10 long-term stochastic is trending down I'm going to call this as a trade so I will take the t10 we don't know where it's going to go but one two whoops I think it's does that uh, no that it's only one two three three four five six seven eight I would be out another reason why I'd be out of this trade notice here I'm at the 200 EMA we quite often bounce off that level note your long-term stochastic is fully oversold if you miss that t10 you just had a slingshot just there so once again following the flow of your long-term stochastic now as we come down here okay what have I got just here this is called a 200 EMA overshoot let's have a look at what this looks like on the anchor chart because something magical happens here aha uh -huh. see how I've shot past the 200 EMA look at your anchor chart one what am I bouncing on here just there I'm bouncing on the 89 EMA now this at the moment because I'm just giving this to you in 10 minutes you think you know, oh gee I'm not getting any of this well give me a couple of hours with you and you'll pick this up because once again I'm referring to the 89 and 200s we bounce off these levels every day non or I don't want to say non-stop that's not true we bounce off these levels multiple times each day okay now and that also was a higher high for those people who are interested see that up up there what I've got up there is yesterday's close and also what we call a pivot level remember on that list I said be careful of pivots or not be careful be aware of those and bang look what happened just there I've got a potential reversal right at the pivot let's go back to our anchor chart uh, which is just here uh, as we're coming down here uh, we've now got another super another t10 entry just here now and away we go again now for members watching this you may recognize we had a t10 just there why not take that t10 why wait for that one we didn't have the super scalper okay this is the four tick Renko and I recommend you wait for the super scalper to appear it'll just um, keep you out of a lot of winning trades because the NQ can be a lot whippier okay and so you had a nice winner there and another one uh, just here now what I do want to point out here is okay super scalper see the white paint bar deep pullback you're bouncing on a higher time frame uh, up here following for long-term stochastic get a nice little trade entry there you actually had one just here notice how the long-term stochastic is trending up now with that one if you had have taken that trade see just up there we've got uh, yesterday's high and you've got what we call a floor pivot uh, just above there and see how then you bounce now you can actually trade into these pivots remember I mentioned that these areas are price magnets remember at the start when I was talking about pivots you can take the trade but expect a bounce now as we now come down and we're just about to catch up with price action we'll finish in a moment okay we're coming down now what am I getting down here as well I'm getting divergence divergence is where you've got your indicator here my platinum starts is gives me a higher high so I've got a lower low in price and I've got a higher low now not all divergence trades are equal that is if you have divergence which is easy to learn but you do not trade it initially whatsoever it's a lot harder to trade is that um, you want to see do we also have divergence on the anchor chart one if you do that then becomes 
what we call a loaded trade it truly does now for those who want to keep it really simple see the red line turning green my long-term stochastic we're looking for shorts we're looking for longs we're looking for shorts thank you very much now let's now see where this um, divergence trade has gone now it's a black and white divergence what do I mean by black and white it's because I've got divergence there lower low on price higher low on my MACD in fact I call that a T9 let's just check before I call it that let's check the anchor chart now here you got virtually no divergence on your you do have a little bit of divergence on your anchor chart so this is a divergence trade I personally would not have taken okay but we and what I was about to say though if we've only got divergence we call it a T19 now it's turned into a T10 <laughs> why is that turned into a T10 remember over here okay we had that hook and you may say well but Ray we don't have the white paint bar there as well no we don't note we're there we don't have it there but I do here so if you've got and so I'm just saying this also for members if you've got a potential t10 and you don't have the super scalper and it's only and it's because you only had two lower closes prior to it just wait for three higher closes does exactly the same thing okay so the super scalper basically tells me I've got three lower closes and what does that really tell me it tells me I've got some momentum now what you've got to be aware of and we'll finish up uh, in a moment here is that when you've got these reversals here see all of the major EMAs I've got here I've got the 200 um, come on uh, I've got the 89 quite often these will turn into major support or resistance areas so whenever we we buy or we sell we always say to ourselves do we have blue skies ahead in other words what's in front of the trade because quite often we will bounce off these levels now if we had have taken this trade we would have been in here okay and so what you really want to do is lock in a few ticks of profit anticipating a potential bounce off these levels and it looks like here is one setting up now so you make it a risk-free trade by once you're in the money you're in the money want to lock some profits in and just enough to cover the commissions because you make it too tight it comes down stops you out then continues so traders I've really gone beyond what I wanted to cover here and this is um, you know that's a 2b or 3b sorry 3b you've got some t10s look what's happening with your long-term stochastic there's your, your t10 reversal just there so traders these are about learning the patterns and that by the way that's a slingshot uh, that is a slingshot so the slingshot and the t10s have been around gee whiz ever since I've been trading you know, 28 years ago really straightforward the fact is though you've got to be patient enough to follow the trend to follow the trades now in finishing this is on ninja trader 8 a fantastic platform so I've got all the indicators for NT8 got them for trade station uh, if you've got a platform that I don't have all the indicators for I give you all of the settings that you can set up the exact same uh, indicators on virtually any trading platform now with this this could easily and this is just if we've got a red candle this could be turning into it is too so this is just turned into uh, what we call a 3b short this is a 3b short so let's go back to our PowerPoint here and let me just uh, finish up here so traders as I mentioned uh, come and join me in my live coaching room let me teach you how to trade these setups for $197 you get all of my indicators there are hundreds of hours of recordings there now there's over 30 PowerPoints I actually have 18 different setups but 
you only want to focus on two or three that are related trend following strategies to begin with that's a true secret not too hard not too easy just right so remember within the 197 you also get eight live two hour coaching sessions where you can type in any questions you can uh, email me as well uh, after the uh, month um, if you go to my website I think it's after the first three month it's 197 a month here traders uh, it's uh, if you join here you can then sign up for only $97 a month I'm going cancel at any time so when you first join you're not signing up for the coaching the coaching is something you've got to um, sign up for after your free month so you get one month free drop me an email hey Ray send me the link I want to join now let's just go and see how that trade is going the 3b okay and thank you very much one two three four five six seven we'd be well I'd be out of that trade you'll notice that um, and just look at this low just here by the remember I was talking to you about intraday swings remember on that PowerPoint let me show you again because this is important this is how we make money remember here I've got intraday swing highs and lows why is that important you know where they are it's because they become price targets that is when you have a deep pullback like this I mentioned this is called a 3b just a classic everyday 3b you had one there you had a couple back here um, what we look at is do we have blue skies ahead we do all the way down to that low and for most of us we will use these as price targets you'll notice we haven't touched it yet um, have, haven't hit that level in fact I what I call front run these levels that is I'll get out a few ticks below the low before lots of other traders want to get out so uh, there's a couple of ways I'll take it I'll either go for a larger target or a fixed target and that's why on that PowerPoint here traders uh, you may notice on this slide I had here seven step scalps that's generally the largest trade I'll go for why because the strategy kicks butt okay that's why but I will increase it slightly if I've got a major area of support or resistance in front of me well anyway we're up to 47 minutes far too far too long but traders um, uh, so hopefully you picked up some ideas uh, if it confused you a little bit all the more reason why you should come and join me okay you'll pick this up this isn't rocket science it's about learning what these patterns are how to trade these patterns and um, uh, you know you just pick that up through watching a trader teach you step by step and that's what I do okay traders uh, uh, make sure you subscribe to subscribe to my channel so you keep up to date come and join me and uh, I'll see you in the coaching room so thank you traders we'll see you in the next video